Hey, how is it going? In this tutorial, I will show you how to do visual regression testing using Playwright with just a few lines of JavaScript. What you see here is a simple test file and this is a fresh Playwright project. The first step is to require test and expect from the Playwright test runner. Next, create a test case to check our QA practice homepage is looking good. Give it a title and an async function. The first step is to go to the website. Write your assertion using the expect function. Expect that the screenshot we can just take here in line is matching a snapshot. The snapshot can be an image, so I gave it a name. With this, we are good to go to the terminal and run npx playwright test. Running the very first test fails because we don't have a snapshot yet. However, it created it for us and in the following test executions it will be used as a base image for comparison with the actual application page. Running the tests again will pass because now we have snapshots and there are no visual differences in the application. The snapshots are located in the tests folder with one image per enabled browser. Great. Let's go to the website codebase and change something visually. Let's run our test case again. It is failing because Playwright is telling us that there were visual changes. In order to see what changed, we can rerun the test case using the hyphen hyphen UI flag to get the debugger interface.
we could also use the trace feature as well. In the debugger interface, we can run the test again. It failed on the matching snapshot step. Playwright found some different image pixels. To see the difference, go to Attachments, go to Expected and drag this bar. As you can see, the expected image contains a welcome message with a black color and the actual image contains the red color for the same message. Simple, isn't it? If we consider this a feature and not a bug and we want to update our snapshots with uh, the new color, we can simply do that by typing npx playwright test update snapshots now the snapshots will contain the new updated red color for the welcome text and from this point our test will start to pass again. Simple, isn't it? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and see you in the next video.